compound interest. Now, here we have the compound interest formula. It's, it's very different to the simple interest formula, but it used most, uses mostly the same pronumerals. It's got P for principal, R for interest rate, N for number of time periods. The only thing that's different is instead of finding interest, it finds A, which is the amount or future value of the loan. And we'll go through example, we'll go straight into example one and we'll help you understand what that's all about. So with example one, if we look closely, uh, Catherine's investing eight grand. So that's our principal. At a compound interest rate, so little r is going to be 3.2%, which we go 3.2 divide 100, giving us 0.032 when we convert it to a decimal. Question A says calculate the future investment value after 10 years, so n equals 10. So what we'll do is we'll take our formula as above and replace each pronumeral with the amount. So P is 800, or sorry, 8,000 actually, I'll put an extra zero there, 8,000, then we've got 1 plus R, R being 0.032, and N is 10 to the power of 10. Uh, when you work it out, it's really important that you put a multiplication in front of the brackets, like so. Let's get our calculator. Uh, 1 plus 0.032 times the brackets uh, to the power of 10. Right. Now, this gives us a solution and it hasn't told us how many decimal places, but that's alright. We'll go $10,961. And 93 cents. Now, it's probably best to do it to two decimal places because when we talk about money, that's what we always do. All right. Now, notice this is a little different because this is the future value. What this is telling you is that after 10 years, your $8,000 will now be worth $10,961.93. So it shows you how much money you've got at the end of the 10 years. Then we get to question B, which is asking you to calculate the interest, or capital I. The interest is basically the extra money that you got on top of your investment. So all we do is we subtract it, we take our amount, our future value, and we take away the original investment and you'll end up with $2,961.93. That is how much interest or how much profit you made from your investment. 